figured that we are all in quarantine right now, self-isolation, so now is the time to read all the books. So I'm gonna try to read ones that I think will be five stars instead of just trying to zip through my TBR as fast as possible. It's your girl Jay and today I am here with a five star predictions video. I had originally done one of these back in like March 2018 or something. I'll leave it linked down below if you're interested in it but I was so ridiculously wrong in all of my predictions. I'm pretty sure the highest star rating I gave those books was like 3.5 so clearly I don't know my own taste but I never ended up filming a like wrap up for that because I was so wrong. I was like, we don't need to bring that into the world. So today I'm here with another five star prediction video and hopefully we understand our taste a little bit better. So without further ado, let us get started. Okay, so the first book that I have is What I Lost by Alexandra Ballard and this is like an eating disorder book. I am a huge fan of eating disorders. That sounds weird, but what I mean is I just like the psychology behind it. I have like a minor in psychology and my favorite classes were always to do with disorders and mental illness. So I'm feeling like I'm really going to enjoy this one. I know that Julia Sapphire read this and really, really loved it. So I'm hoping that I can trust Julia and really love it as well. I think in the past we've had pretty similar tastes in books. I'm pretty sure we rank pretty closely together except sometimes we're like way off from each other so this may be one of these books but like fingers crossed it's not and I actually rate it 5 out of 5. The next one that I have is Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Walbrill. I actually talked about this one in my most anticipated releases for March right from the first time I read the synopsis I kind of figured it would be a 5 out of 5 star for me. It's about a girl named Rose Gold who has been told for her 18 years of life that she is very sick by her mother Patty, but none of the doctors were able to figure out what was wrong with her. She discovers that her mom has actually been lying to her and her mom ends up going to jail for five years. She is released after the five years is over and asks to live with Rose Gold. Rose Gold agrees but it's all because she wants revenge and it's like the story of that. I think it's very similar to the Gypsy Rose case that happened a while ago but I just found that case really interesting. I feel like I'm gonna find this book really interesting. Hopefully I feel like it's a five out of five stars. But I guess we'll see when we actually read it. The next one that I think, hopefully, will be a 5 out of 5 stars is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And this is basically about a group of teens who have, like, abilities and they work for the FBI. The whole premise kind of reminds me of the TV show Heroes. I don't know if anybody ever watched that, but I was, like, obsessed with it when it was actually around. It was, like, a show from like 2008 or something but I was super into it and I just feel like this has the same vibes so I'm hoping that I really like it. And a lot of people who I've heard talk about this book say it's like super underrated and it's really really good so I'm hoping that I fall into that category. The next book is solely like an author pick for me. It's Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. I absolutely loved the Wicked Deep when I read it, so I'm hoping that this has like same vibes. I know that it's about a witch or somebody rumored to be a witch and she finds a boy in the woods who disappeared. He should be dead but he's not. He's also hiding some secrets of his own and it's like the story of that. But this is solely just because it's Shay Earnshaw and I really like her writing so hopefully 5 out of 5 stars. The last one I chose is Because of Madison Mary. I'll leave her channel down below. Her and I usually have pretty similar taste in reading. I think that all the books that she's rated 5 out of 5 stars, I've rated at least a 4.5 or 5 as well. So this is strictly because of Madison Mary, but it is Shadow Frost by Coco Ma, and I don't really know all that much about this book other than Madison gave it 5 out of 5 stars and that it follows a princess trying to slay a demon or something like that. And I'm pretty sure that it has dragons in it, so I'm here for anything with dragons, so hopefully Madison Mary is not wrong in this one, and I agree with her opinion of 5 out of 5 stars, but we'll see once we read it. Alright everybody, so that was my 5 out of 5 star prediction video. Hopefully I have a better understanding of my own taste this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!